had two sons in the room. I wanted to ask a question earlier when they were here. But I wanted to follow what you said yesterday about resisting speaking up. And now they've left. None of what you've been talking about is helpful because of the, the impact of the amount of anger I've had in my life mm -hmm. has destroyed theirs. I had Jeffrey sitting beside me and I turned to him and said, are you okay, son? And he projected back the anger that he's had from me all of my life. And said, how can I, how can I be all right? I just want you to stay away from me. I, I'm having problems connecting with what you've said about justice. What, what are you talking about? Anger, I've, I've got it. <laughs> These two are so precious to me. They came into my care in innocence, just like I came into the, my parents' care in innocence. I believe you're Jesus. I'm asking you. Now you're projecting it. I'm asked, don't care. No, I do. I'm asking you. Yeah. What? Please. Please what? You ask everybody here to connect to their anger, but the consequences of that is what you see, what happens to the rest of your family, what happens as it, it snowballs. But I'm not saying to project the anger. I'm saying to connect to it and own it within yourself. I didn't know when they were really I little. I know you didn't know. I know you didn't know. But you're now experiencing the results of the effect of, of, of the denial of your, your underlying emotions. So this is I didn't know I was denying. I know you them. didn't know. And this is, this, is a, this is the problem with awakening is that we need to experience the pain of awakening. Do you understand that? The pain's too great. Oh, You're fun. asking everybody here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking everyone here to experience the pain that you are now experiencing. I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm not telling you you're wrong. But this today. Can you imagine? Do you remember that those slaves? The sun sitting beside me yeah. is the most challenging thing. Yeah. <laughs> because you're seeing the direct results of your own actions. I didn't do it on purpose. I know you didn't do it on purpose. But it was done. It was done. Now all you need to... What do I do You now? take this to God now. You take this to God now. So what you do is you talk to God and what you're feeling now is the true... I don't want people to see. I'm ashamed. You can turn your head this way. What you're doing now is you're taking this emotion, this feeling of sorrow to God now. It will change because you are now sorry. Before you weren't sorry. Do you understand the difference? See, before when you were saying, I want my boys to change, I want my boys to do, or I want my boys to do all these things, you weren't feeling the full responsibility of what you created. Now, in this grief, you're feeling the full responsibility of what you created. Now I came innocent to my parents. It doesn't matter. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. It, doesn't it all matter. matters. No, no, it doesn't matter. Because of the impact sense. on them. I understand the impact on them. This, um, what I'm saying is, you're feeling that this is not just. It's not. It is. Then I don't understand. I know. The truth is that whether we do things in innocence or whether we do things without knowing or not, it still damages our children. It still damages everyone around us. This is the thing that God wants us to come to see, what you're now seeing. That you have damaged your own children, even though you didn't know you were doing it at the time. I've embraced all of this for nine months to yeah. get to this point. Yeah. And I want with all my heart to leave. I, I want to run. I, I want to run. Because you don't. But Jeffrey's 
that beside me in such pain. But you didn't want to run. And I can't, please, I can't because of his pain. It's not my own. But that's, that's why you want to run. You want to run because you don't want to see the results of your own actions. Am this I is so why different to anybody else? No. Everyone else wants to run too when they see that, that they've done damaging things. The key is to not run. Don't leave the room when the shouting begins. Don't run. Feel your own emotion. When you feel your own emotion like you're doing now, now you're repentant. Remember we've talked about repentance. Repentance is a true heartfelt feeling that I can see the full results of everything I've done. But what about their pain that I can repent for me? But what about what happened to them? Well, and you pain is it. now starting. This is part of your repentance. This is part of your repentance of seeing what you've done. And once you feel this fully, that lowers their burden straight away. That what enables. A dawn. <laughs> There isn't any justice here at all. There's Why? no justice because Why? at every point your free will is impacted. You come into this world, into my parents' life, an innocent person, mm -hmm. and you get compounded with stuff from them. Mm -hmm. You go through your life and you try and survive, <laughs> try yeah. to survive. Yeah. And I wanted my children. I asked for Jeffrey and Nicholas. And you go, you go, go through your life. And you think you're doing the best you can. And you get to this point. But can I ask you, Jen, when you were yelling at them, do you feel you were doing the best you could? Right at the moment you were yelling at them, when you were dumping your anger on them, did you really feel you were doing the best you could? I don't ever remember yelling at them. I remember being angry within myself and withdrawn from them yeah. and not knowing how to love them, yeah. not knowing how to reach them or meet their needs. My sins are my sins of omission rather than actually physically hurting them in such a way as hitting them or in fact, I think I was probably a lax disciplinarian, if that's a funny way of putting it, and I know that's yeah. not the right way of putting it, yeah. but I didn't actually hit them. Yeah. I tried my hardest to guide them, but my own guidance was skewy. Yeah. It was, yeah. was already warped. Yeah. <laughs> it was already... So th this is the key thing that all of us need to come to see at some point, and that is that all of the things that have happened to ourselves we have actually then perpetrated onto others. So how can I have judgment for what you've done if I've done the same thing? And in the end, once I need to, what well, all I need to do to have all of this forgotten is to connect to God and feel that sorrow that you're now feeling. But there isn't a minute in my own life that I haven't felt afflicted in some way, either from the physical people that were in my life or from some spirit interaction. I mean, I'm burning up now. It's not just me here. No, there's it's lots of spirits lots too. All like around. But and they just see, don't leave me alone. But you can, can you see that you still have a feeling of blame towards God even? Mm. You, you I'm feel... I'm hating God. Yeah. You feel that God has Why? done all this damage. It's this whole system like it is because it's just wrong. It can't be right when there's so much pain. Who created it? Who created the pain? People's errors. My parents' errors. And their, their parents', parents and errors. Their parents. And their parents' errors. And, and if, 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 if all of us said, like, if I didn't have any personal pain, would I bother about your pain? In other words, would, would I care about your pain if I didn't have any personal pain? So if I'm creating your pain and then not feeling the consequences of those actions, then will I ever change? I can't hear you. I know. <laughs> I can't hear you. So you just need to feel it. The feeling you have is that it's all unjust. That's the feeling you have, right? Isn't I want it? the pain to stop. I want the change. The change. Oh, stop. I'm committed on doing it. I'm 
But darling, the pain's going to stop only when you fully feel what pain you've created. It will stop then. It's too much. No, it's not too much. But then I'm going to watch my kids with but all the ramifications of the things that I did. Yes. Consciously and unconsciously. Yes. And once you let yourself feel all that, you'll feel fully repentant and then that's when God's love can enter you and just rub out the memories of these things from an emotional perspective. But mainly when you reach this day. When you find the faith to keep going when the pain is so great? Just tell me. Well, I just don't know he's there. And I'm angry at him. I know you're angry at him. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you feel angry at God? Just like Jen's film. It's quite a lot. So this is common emotion then. I've been really angry at God too. <laughs> I want to die, but what's the point of that? You can't go in the spirit world and you can't escape it. That's right. We're yeah. trapped. <laughs> you can't get away from it. No. It's, it's so what trapped. are you trying to get away from? I just want I just want a little bit of peace. Just time enough to find myself. Yes. I feel lost. You know? so, so talk to God about this. But you're so angry with God, how can you talk to God? I'm talking to you. <laughs> is that the next best thing? No. Why not? Because there's no next best thing to God. I'm not the next best thing. Well, because I'm not God. The person you need to heal the relationship with is God. How are you going to heal the relationship with God if you don't talk to God about this issue? You need to talk to God about how you're feeling, how angry you're feeling towards God. I'm sitting on my hands in the audience, talking to him all the time. Awesome. But about it's all cool. of these emotions you've now voiced to me, you need to voice to God now. Uh, is he not listening now? Yes. Yes, he's listening to you. You're not directing it at him. You're ignoring him. You feel emotions of blame towards him. So you start talking to him about how much you feel that. How much you feel the whole system's unjust and all those things. When you work through this emotion, you'll feel it entirely differently. And in fact, the reason why the system's been created in the way it has is so you could come to this realisation. This realisation that all the damage that you have done and how bad it's been, that's the reason why you've come to this place. I don't want to be putting up my hand and asking questions all the time and taking up people's time for whatever is perceived, you know? Mm. People come to me and they say, you put your hand up, that's a really great question. I don't want that anymore. All I want from this situation is to heal my life and, and life. have change. And you do need you to feel, yes, I do, but you need to feel this pain to do that. You do need to feel this pain and talk to God about this pain that you feel. This is what repentance is, Jen. This is what repentance is. Repentance isn't some intellectual exercise. It hurts. Repentance hurts. You're not helping. I'm not helping, no. Because you don't want to hear this. I don't want to stop you from feeling repentant. I want you to keep going. If you keep going, you'll get to the bottom of this and you'll understand. It's alright, you don't have to stay here if you don't want to. <laughs> Can everyone understand why, Jess, why Jen's feeling the way she's feeling? Yeah. How many of you feel like this whole system of parents passing on emotional damage to children is just like out of whack, it shouldn't be happening? How many of you feel that? Majority of the audience. Can you see how angry with God we are? Can you have a desire for God's love if you're angry with God? Can you see how there, there could be a problem there? Like, can you see firstly you're going to have to experience some rage with God and let, and let yourself feel that anger with God and really express to Him how you feel, the frustration you feel about it? When you do, I can guarantee to you that at the end of it you will come to see that God wasn't the creator of this. 
But at the moment, most of us feel that God is the creator of this. You feel that God should have made you like a robot instead of like a, this free will individual. Because you don't want the other person having free will at the moment. Because what do they do when they have free will? They just hurt me. That's all they do. Can you see that? It's because we're not taking responsibility for our, our, our Well, yes, a lot of it is because the reason why we feel such in, so enraged with God is because most of us have a huge amount of personal pain that other people created. Would you agree with that? Yeah. You think of all of the personal pain that you have in your life, how much do you feel you created? But let's, let's face the truth of it. The truth is that the majority of your personal pain was created by the time you were seven years of age. So did you know that you were creating it during that phase of your life? Of course you didn't, did you? So who created it? The previous generation, didn't they? And then for that generation, didn't the previous generation beyond that create it? And for that generation, didn't the previous generation beyond that create that pain? Can you see what's happened? This multi-generational passing down of pain. Most of us hate the system, don't we? Like, do you like the fact that you've got all of, pretty much all, most of the pain you have within yourself, you believe and I say this for a reason, which we'll see in a minute, you believe other people created. So does that feel fair to you? Do you feel angry about it? When you connect to the anger and then connect to the grief of it, you'll release that feeling. When you release that feeling, there'll be an entirely different feeling that will overwhelm you. And that is that this system that God created is the only possible system that could have been created with free will as the basis. And that when we make choices disharmonious with love, there are painful results, not just for us. If you make a choice disharmonious with love in your family, your children will feel the pain of that as well as you. Now, do you love your children enough to stop the pain? Will we say yes... But most of the time we don't mean that. Most of the time we don't, because we continue their pain. So we say yes, but we don't mean it. You look at the pain that's going on in the world today. If you could see that you were the creator of it, what you're choosing right now is the creator of it, what would you choose to do? Surely you'd choose to stop it, wouldn't you? And the only way to stop it is by dealing with the soul-based emotions inside of you. That's what I'm saying to you. When you stop that, this world pain will stop. This multi-generational pain we stopped. The whole reason why it's there, right from, you know, right from day one, was because the first human couple decided that oh, the course of self-reliance was going to be the best for everyone. And remember, some time ago, I said to all of you that the biggest emotion inside of you will be your desire to remain self-reliant. You don't want to admit that you've done things wrong. You want to admit that everyone else does things wrong to you. Right? And all of us feel this way at some point. That's our anger. And we need to connect to it and feel it and release it. And when we do that, what will happen is that all of the truth will become... We'll be able to see all the truth. But before that time, we won't see the truth. And that is that God created a perfect system to expose your choice to deny your emotion. Does that make sense? That's what God has done. 